To my left is the DC slider, which we first introduced in April at NAB. And to my right, the HD for heavy duty, which we're gonna introduce in January. The DC slider will support cameras and heads weighing up to about 25 pounds. Whereas the HD, which I wanna show you today, will support cameras up to about 65 pounds, including the weight of your head. Oh, geez, it's okay, it's supposed to do that. Both the DC and the HD sliders use the same mechanical principles, beginning with the patent pending precision counterbalance system. That enables me to slide this camera almost anywhere along the beam, from a vertical to a horizontal. As I mentioned earlier, both the DC and the HD sliders can be used vertically, horizontally, or at any angle in between. This is a pretty severe angle, and you can see how skewed the camera is as a result. But look how simply we can level this camera out. We release this brake, pull the safety, bring it back up to center, lock that off, release the drag, and we're sliding. One tripod, one HD slider. It's a mini jib, it's a crane, it's a vertical tower, it's a tabletop slider, it's four tools in one. Zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds, or pin to pin, which is about five and a half feet in 24 hours. Our motion control system allows you to do time lapse and stop motion photography. You can set your start, your stop points, your ramp speeds, it's motion control. Matthew sliders, the DC model for camera packages weighing up to 25 pounds and the HD model for camera packages weighing 65 pounds. Before we go, I'd like to thank Cartoni for the use of the sticks and of course Kino Flow for the lighting and the use of their stage and Aerie for the Alexa camera. But most of all, I want to thank you for watching our video.